I believe it will have a set that's a little bit closer than what we just saw. We're going to be seeing Quid going up against Leon last time that these two played at Xeno. I don't want to say that they played because Leon got... Oh, 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 he was holding the controller. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, so last time I just feel like what Quinn did so well, he was really able to optimize his advantage state. He was just able to make Leon suffer and get the most out of every single hit. That's a good 65 onto the board. I mean, look at this. Yeah, Quinn kind of makes everybody look bad at this game. That's like the best way to put it. From whenever I watch him play, he's like always in control or like he always like does options and like wins with the simplest option. Like Punisher is done with the simple option where you like, man, are, are they actually just dumb? Yeah. It, it, Quid just is able to play so patiently and always waits for you to kind of press the first button, especially at mid-range. Um, yeah. And with a character like Bazzi, you really don't always have the luxury of committing like that. Oh, Quid oh, yeah. rolling oh, yeah. away. Good awareness and catching the jump out of the corner. And he just knows. Like, so many players like to jump right there, so Quid just knew. Like, he just waited for the timing and then just punished it with that there. Yeah, it's the same concept like you would apply to Yoshi, right? You just got to make sure that your mentality is in the right place. Quid maybe trying to go from the back here, though, is not going to be able to find the timing on it. And again, Leon just can't seem to find his way to get back onto the stage. Yeah, and he needs to close out the stock. And you would think, okay, there we go. So, Bowser does have early percent combos on a lot of cats. Doing 30% right there, and then into a re-grab. That's what we're going to that's, that's, <laughs> that's all you need. You just need to get two reads of neutral as a heavyweight, yeah. and that's it. You can just immediately offset any deficit that you put yourself in. Well, I love the fact that Leon's so patient getting back onto the stage. He's just trying to... Yeah. Uh, I actually do like the high recovery because now he gets to jump back in the mix-up and... Yeah. Yeah, dead. That high recovery, maybe not so much, but Quid was also in a position to be able to get the two frames, so yeah. kind of an execution test on the end. Yeah. So, unfortunate for Leon, and you cannot grab that. Quinn knows that, and with the dash back, just making these things look safe. Now, this is this is where Leon absolutely needs to play his game. Okay, something a little bit about that tether cancel uh, Razor Leaf. Quid ended up hitting that and almost got the stock off of it on Leon last time that they played. And I said, that is a once preset lifetime thing. And this time, Leon is just like not having any of it, and so patient. Yeah. Oh, and but he he is having these razor leaf, razor leaf and vinyl ones to the face. Though Quid is losing that stock at a semi early percent. Leon is bleeding with 91 percent dealt to him and in disadvantage 107. Leon needs to be able to find a way to get back onto the stage, but as Bowser, you fundamentally lack too many good cover mix mixups besides timing. Quid over commits once, puts themselves at the ledge against Leon but finally fighting the way out. That, yeah. that position can get so scary yeah. so fast. And Quid fought out of disadvantage right there. Leon was waiting for the shield. A lot of players do like the shield right there. Oh, that's not what you want to do, but living the back though, but he's in such a bad advantage. Now, Ivy Sword there, not going to take it right here. Yeah, so see, guys, Quid was in the right position for it, but that time just stuffing out Leon's jump out of the corner. Uh, Leon kept trying to jump in, kept trying to really go in aggressively. Um, and as Bowser, your corner options are relatively limited as well. The options that you have that are pretty quickly are huge commitments and put you in so much lag. And and the buttons that are a little bit safer, you need space and time to be to like to really make sure that you're not getting punished for it. Yeah. And Quid like Pokemon I want a quick note. Quid like punished every single up B Leon did. I felt like he had no up B like pressure, like in mm -hmm. those mix ups out of the shield to shield situation. And a lot of players tend to drop shield too early, but Quid just held patience and he's like, yo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you for this. Look at the range that Quid is playing at as well. He's like playing really patiently and almost like camping at mid range, waiting for Leon to press that first button because he knows anything that he does is gonna have to be a guess, and there's nothing that he can do that effectively crashes him. Yeah. Up, no. up. <laughs> well, uh, flamethrower. <laughs> flamethrower is some nice pressure. But yeah, he's basically playing at a react reactionary range on which he can just. Um, react to whatever Leon's options are because he doesn't have a lot of burst options. But guess what? Leon now has advantage. Leon just needs to find a way once again out of this corner. I like, he goes through like a lot of really interesting DI mix-ups. He ends up putting himself in situations where he does end up getting hit. But does that matter if he at least at some point finds a way to get back onto the stage? And that's all he needs just once. That was such a strange option. Jump, directional air dodge. Yeah, but <laughs> guess what? He, he got the Wi-Fi bears. <laughs> <laughs> Shout outs to Blux. <laughs> the originator of like, or one of the big main bouncers that do bear. 
Oh my. That Inugashi could have gone so poorly for Quinn. And you know what? At least Charlie said never really struggles to be able to get that kill, right? Yeah. Just come across the stage. Okay, but Squirtle combo master. 66. <laughs> Oh my, that could have been it. But yeah. uh, Leon was like in the finishing part of that animation. So yeah. he didn't sink all the way down. I love the attempt nonetheless. If this was a different game, he was done. <laughs> oh. Good awareness from Leon too, not to air dodge right. Sometimes with multi-hits, it can be a little bit ambiguous as to whether or not the finisher is going to connect. And do I have to tech or do I not have to? Okay. And I, I do like Leon teching all these situations. Just knowing that he needs to tech in order to survive. All right, life trap situation. Get up attack, gets him out. That has invincibility in this game if you did not know. Ooh, and up smash is going to be able to take it. Yeah, just such a good scramble for Quick though. But now he still needs to be able to find a way to get out of the corner. Great catch once. And Leon landing a little bit too aggressively on shield. Oh, that counter hit is out of this manage. Oh, I thought we were going to see just regular side B, but he tried to read the jump. Yeah. That was, such a, that was just such a good Tomahawk side yeah. I think Quid was just still sucking all that and lagging. The fastest option that you can do would be to hold shield, and guess what? Side B is still able to cover you that effectively. So this is still anybody's game, but Quid is just so good at optimizing all of these hits. Yeah, 73%, 83 Okay, Flame Breath doesn't care about optimization, Dara. You dash in poorly once, and you're taking anywhere between 20 and 50%. And you yeah. just have to hold that. Yeah, missing. actually missing the up tilt right there. Mm -hmm. For the first time. Oh. Leon needs a way to get back onto the stage. That air dodge was just perfect because he was still able to get his jump back. He waits for Quid to whiff that down air, and then as soon as he's stuck in all that lag, that's that, when he up these. That's, that's, that's a Quid. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Great check, Chase. Yeah. Like, I think that covers everything. That Bowser. covers, yeah. So the second he got hit by that there, it's over. Yeah, Bowser is one of the worst tech girls in the game. Yeah, right? but I think all characters are dead in that situation. True. Yeah, no, no. Ivy saw, Ivy saw up here hitbox big. Yeah, that that's a sin. Yeah. You just have to hold that. That move is massive. So as soon as you put it to attack chase, the best that you can hope for is that you... They mess up. Yeah, that either they mess up or you intentionally whiff. Uh, or you intentionally miss your attack and try to go for like a bit of a timing mix up. Yeah. Yo, can we talk about these songs? Selections? These are probably Who's some doing of the, this? Like, Who's these doing are, this? These are probably some of the worst songs I've ever fought to. Dude, this is Leon Quinn. This is hype. This is a hype run back. Yeah, but and we're listening to Balloon Melody. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want something sick. I want something a little bit more battle-oriented. This Tekken, is not good. Tekken came in here, and we don't even get to listen to a Tekken song. Okay. All right, Quinn finally able to get a bit of a poke. Too low of a percent for him to actually be able to find a follow-up into anything. Yeah. Really dangerous to go through the shield there because you don't really have the time in that position to decide, is he going to ledge or is he actually landing on stage? So Yeah, it is so scary. You want to believe that it is Leon and he's always going to choose ledge, but that's not always the case it can be. Uh, great side B once again, and that's all Leon needs to be able to finish out that stock. It seems like every single time that Leon's jumping, we've seen Quid sit in shield and lock themselves into shield. Um, and that's how he's just been finding a lot of these ends. Alright. Okay. Quid just baiting out the up He's out of shield, just trying to do the phantom footstool. <laughs> and he's looking at oh, Leon. Oh no! What was... Alright, okay, Quid. Qu Quid shakes his head with a, like, a little grin. You may not see it with the mask, but you, you can see. Yeah, you can't really try to punish Yan like that. Oh my, this is the stock. <gasps> oh, Quinn, no, it's not. I would have thought he'd go for like another water gun, there, but does not choose to do so. Love that edge guard with the upbeat. Yeah, I actually do like the stall from Leon, but it still does not net him that survivability. Bear from the angel platform. Yeah. And once again, just putting on so much damage because of Fire Breath. Catches Quid dashing in once again. He is struggling to be able to get back onto the stage. Up is just so much coverage you can get. Get up attack, neutral, get up, and goal all at once. So you just got to make sure you avoid that situation. Yeah, and the spot dodge up B. Tagging on more percent onto IB. Oh, tether cancel. Into four up airs. All of those look true, by the way. There was yeah. really nothing that Leon could have done. And if he could have tried to air dodge, he might have just been trapped into another one. But you know what? That doesn't matter. Bowser just takes stocks whenever he wants to. Yo, he takes stocks all the time. <laughs> These guys are deep. <laughs> Alright, call the jump. 
getting another two for Emiak. We're just yeah. doing a good job, Switch and Ivy. Leon has no double jump. He has no other choice other than to keep going onto the ledge. Yeah. And for Quid, it's just an execution test. Once again, no double jump off stage, but miss times the down. It's a critical yeah. edge. Okay, Caps, Caps is the landing with the Nair. Get up attack through. Okay, caught him right there. And Bowser with the long, longest get up attack mm -hmm. in the game. He I, managed to snipe with there, but. I let it go off and like put it low percent and just going from school anyway, right? Because look at look at how solid and more importantly consistent his advantage state has been. Um, especially since Squirtle as a character is more oriented to send you to the sides and to the corners. Ivy Soy kind of sends you up and tries to juggle. Um, and, and being able to take advantage of Bowser's poor out of corner options is really what's doing so much for Quid right now. Yeah, Quid, Quid, Quid with the ledge trap. Up there! Is that it? That's it. I love Bowser. I, I think it, all of his Quid are so funny. Because it's like, you don't expect, you don't expect the front hit of neutral to be so plus on hit that you can just jump after them and kill them. Yeah, I was not expecting that. I was expecting the fair. Quid was probably expecting the fair. But getting hit by the up air as Squirtle. Yeah. Yeah. You're kind of done. When you're that close to the top of the blast zone as well, and you're one of the lightest in the game, who just dead? There's nothing you can do about that. GG. GG. <laughs> so now we're on FD. No platforms to work with. Gets a jab into the grub, is putting, once again, Quid in such a nasty position. But as soon as Quid finds that one and finds that one opening, that's all he needs to be able to not only do so much damage, but to keep, uh, but just to put Leon into the corner. Yeah. Okay, I'll be. And this is probably the best start Leon has had all of all four games. Look how patient he's being as well. He, all he's doing is occupying Quid's immediate area of effect and getting these whip punishes. These trades are just doing so much for him, but none of that matters when he Bowser off stage, one of the most linear and exploitable recoveries in Smash. Yeah, and, I, and when you were playing with as Ivysaur and you have a dare like that, it's almost, it's a base for your guarantee every single time. But Bear taking it, and with Leon's good lead, at least he manages to net the stock so he can get an even, even yeah. playing field right here. It wasn't as, I mean, as quit, like, there wasn't even a lot that you can do there. Once, when somebody's just, like, constantly jumping in front of your face like that, the ledge options are so limited, but quit. Again, just doing what he does best, getting the most out of every single squiggle hit. Not going to be finding the two frame this time. He recognizes that Leon has double jump and doesn't want to commit too much. Just keeps on going through more ledge traps. All right, catches him out. Oh, Leon manages to land. With, with the big difference between these games, like, we see Leon getting more of his uppies. Like, he did not get those game ones and two. Yeah, great forward smash. I love the fact that Quid jumped out there, baited out the high recovery as Leon tried to mix it up, and then just punished him anyways as he didn't commit to an option. Yeah. Okay, caught the jump. Oh, tough guy. I, I guess. I, I didn't know. Yeah, I don't know what else to explain that. I think Leon just fell out of it. I so it might be that bad. Up tilt? No, doesn't go for it. This Leon's tries, ledge trapping yeah. is just so solid again. When he's jumping like that, get up attack and threaten you, catches and jumps. His hitboxes are so big. What do you do to challenge that? I do almost nothing except for a Dara. Right. Yeah. Side B off the ledge. Even stocks. But Leon's bleeding, even though he's a heavy boy. He's just holding onto this double jump as long as he can. He recognizes that Squirtle can't actually get a kill at this position. Great catch on the switch. Oh my. Oh, drop shot too early. Okay, forward throw. Before we go for a bit of stage control, tries to go through this two frame down and is going to be able to find it that time. Quid with another set win over Leon. Took it over him at Xeno last week, and now taking it over him with another really confident 3-1. Yeah.